welcome to the Division of Mathematical Sciences. My name is Ian and today I'll be sharing with you more about my school and the courses that we offer. I'm currently a year two student specializing in pure mathematics. I was from a science stream in JC. Ever since young, I have always been interested by the beauty and complexity of this topic. That is why I have joined NTU SPMS and under MES. Right now, let me share with you a video. This video can be found on our school's website. It showcases a few of my peers who have graduated as well as some professors. The people in this video share their experiences in MES. Example here is Valerie, who had did an internship at Facebook. You can find this video on our school's website. Here's a question for you. What is the shortest path from the red dot to the green dot? Here we use an application of graph theory. The numbers connecting each dot can be represented as meters. And starting from the red dot, we see that the number seven actually leads a path to the green dot. From there, we continue to branch out. until we reach our goal. And from here, we can see that it takes a minimum of 31 meters to get to the green dot. This is a solution by Dijkstra's algorithm. Of course, you can see that this is an application to Google Maps. I'm sure every one of you have used Google Maps in some way or another. This is a way of how we can connect point A to point B in the least amount of time. This is actually very helpful in our everyday lives. You can learn more about graph theory when you join us at MES. Another example of how mathematics is used in our real life is cryptography. Cryptography ensures that there is a secure code for internet bank transfers. Did you know when you are doing an internet bank transfer in the URL, there is this HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. And this ensures that your bank transfers are smooth and secure. And this prevents hackers from interfering with our personal data. At MES, we have few professors who specialize in cryptography and telecommunications. These professors include Professor Ling San, Professor Wang, Professor Singh, Professor Frederick and Professor Wu Hongjun. When you join us for SPMS under Mathematical Sciences, you will be offered a single major or double major. For single majors, we have the Mathematical Sciences as well as the Data Sciences and Artificial Intelligence. This Data Science and Artificial Intelligence topic has been on the rise for the past few years and I urge you to take a look if you are interested in it. We also have the minor in finance where students will learn about financial management as well as investments. And for the double majors, we have the mathematical sciences and economics or the mathematical and computer sciences run by the respective schools. And we also have the physics and mathematical sciences, which is a very rigorous double major but a very rewarding one. And this is run by our, our division of the physics in SPMS. When you join us for mathematical sciences, you can choose these four tracks. These four tracks are all unique and different in their own way and cater to each student with their own interests. You have the pure mathematics, applied mathematics, statistics, as well as business analytics. And you can choose these tracks after your year two. So for pure mathematics, you'll be learning more theoretical based mathematics, as well as you will understand the beauty and rigorousness of mathematics. Some top interesting modules that you can take include number theory, topology, or combinatorics. 
and most students doing pure mathematics will be doing a career in a research or academia. For applied mathematics, you'll be venturing into other courses outside of mathematics, where we will, we will use math to solve real world applications. So some areas include chemistry, physics, biology, computer engineering, IT, so on and so forth. So in applied mathematics, we will be learning graph theory of basic optimization. So here is a gear which has some uh, differential equations. And for statistics, you'll be learning about how we collect data and we evaluate them with each other to get the best outcome that we desire. So the interesting modules that we can take include sampling and surveys, financial mathematics, these kinds of modules that will that you learn in statistics will be very helpful for businesses who want to know how well their company is progressing, so on and so forth. <clears throat> and lastly, we have the business analytics, which includes courses from the Nanyang Business School or NBS. So this track selection is actually designed for students who want to start their own business or want to learn how mathematics is used for business applications. And in business analytics, you'll be learning about data management, how we run a business, business operations, and as well as uh, some processes that you will need to start off a business. So at SPMS, we are very proud to have this cooperative education program. So this co-op education program equips students with the necessary workforce skills when they graduate from our course. You'll be taking on a 10-week internship after year one, another 10-week internship after year two, and a 30-week internship during your year three or year four year. And the internship will be run together with the same company so that you have the relevant experiences. Many of you may be wondering, what if I like math? I like the beauty of math, but I don't want to do teaching. I don't want to do academia. Well, don't worry because there are other types of jobs that you can take. In fact, you can think about one job which doesn't require math and or math. You know, I, don't, I don't think you can find any job that doesn't need math. So you can venture into chemistry, physics, maybe data, as well as even animation or design where you can design the models of certain animations or people. And of course, if you want to go into the industry, you can go into other sectors such as business, banking and finance, e-commerce, information theory. All these industries are really on the topic, on the hot topic right now, and they're on the rise. So these are some ways that you can get into these businesses with the math degree. And of course, we are math students. We like statistics, we like numbers. So here are some percentages for you to take a look. So our employment rate for students and the mathematical sciences is about 89.7%. And these statistics were taken from last year's graduating batch of students. So as you can see here, there is definitely something for everyone. And these are some of the examples of past inter industries or occupations which uh, students have selected. So most of them want to be a statistician or they can go into a financial analyst or research officer, data analyst. And of course, most of them go into the um, public administration and defense or education, as you can see here. Here, this is the image which shows all the companies which have employed our alumni. So this is a wide range of companies. I'm sure you can see the company that you are eyeing for here. Singapore Airlines, PNG, Great Eastern, government sectors, of banking finance. You know, the list goes on here. This is not exhaustive. So with a math degree, you can 
work with any of these companies here. And I, I assure you that it's a really versatile degree that you can take. So to end off, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us via our Telegram channels, Instagram and Facebook pages, or even email us at this email address here. And you can also scan the QR code to take a look at our website in the video, which I've mentioned earlier. And with that being said, thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to me and I'll see you around in school. Bye.